What's up everybody, how you doing? I sold my Hero 6 a couple weeks ago in anticipation of using some of that money to buy the Hero 7. So uh, as we all know, probably each Hero version, new version, gets a little better image stabilization. The 6 was substantially better than my previous 4, which was way better in frame rates and, and such than the previous one that I had, which was the 2. So the upgrade for me, snowboarding, definitely worth it. Um, just especially the stabilization, because choppy snowboard footage is a headache to look at. But uh, so, since I don't have the 6 anymore, I can't really do a side-by-side -side comparison directly, um, but uh, there's plenty of vi YouTube videos out there showing that. But uh, I think what my point is today, what I want to show is using your camera to its actual potential. So uh, let's go make a little edit and uh, I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Okay, I think I know. But uh, basically, I'm going to try to tape with my new GoPro. It's charging now. I'll try to tape less than five minutes of total footage because that's going to make it very easy for me to make an edit of. If I just shoot hours and hours and hours, that's just a headache and a mess to go through for, you know, this is just a little practice video. And for you guys with any of your GoPros or other cameras, I think just mini practice edits are very important. So today I'll try to shoot something in 4K and be able to do a video pan and zoom with it. Uh, 120 frames per second in 1080 and get some silky smooth slow motion and uh, try out the new like time lapse thing that they do, hyper warp or something. But uh, yeah, whatever camera you got, uh, just making little practice videos really helps if you're wanting to make snowboard edits too. So uh, that's the goal for today. Let's uh, select out some accessories here. GoPro's charged up now, and uh, what shall today's activity be? How about, in my weight loss video, many of you recommended I go biking. And yeah, I got a bike. I bought it for $5 when I moved out to Breckenridge from a garage sale, and I've actually taken it over Peaks Trail uh, from Breckenridge to Frisco, nice mountain biking trail, and it was weird. People would laugh at me. And then, uh, uh, mostly I'd use it just to go down to the gas station and buy hot dogs, but, uh, and it was weird, because people would laugh at me. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start using this and record the action. What a great ride. Here's the audio test and uh, let's go edit the footage now. Initial thoughts of the GoPro footage. I messed up twice on the frame rate, so that was just my bad. Two of the shots I meant to put it in slow motion or 120 frames per second and be able to slow it down. And that's just uh, operator error because I did try to change it and didn't. So I just gotta learn the menus a little better. But it, uh, it does seem very intuitive, so. Easy fix there, and that's literally just my fault, not the cameras. The uh, stabilization, ooh, when I'm riding the bike, that is noticeably better for sure. And then uh, 
other than the smoothness of riding the bike, I guess my new favorite feature would be the time warp, time lapse features. So I used a five times speed and 10 times speed. And yeah, it really was smooth and so much better than the previous time lapses if you were moving. And uh, so yeah, I really dug that feature. And uh, yeah, the auto exposure too. When I went through the tunnel, that is really good looking for a GoPro. So uh, pretty darn impressed with this little thing. So can't wait to go shredding with it. I'll keep, uh, if you want to see me make more practice edits like this, let me know. Um, normally I'd recommend using my Amazon affiliate links because it helps out the channel. If you are going to buy one or anything through Amazon, it, if you just go through that link, it helps the channel. But for the, for the GoPro specifically, I would just go through GoPro.com because for now at least they're shipping a 32 gigabyte um, uh, SD card with it, which is, you know, get that one just because it's the right, uh, the right speeds, right speeds and stuff for <coughs> shooting with all these crazy frame rates and stuff. So, uh, but uh, what I would get on Amazon is the battery life sucks on these things. So I always get uh, like a three pack of generics. So I'll get, I'll put a link to the one that I've, that I've ordered. I, I sold my previous one with the camera. So, uh, but yeah, extra batteries, super important, especially in cold weather, snowboarding, skiing, whatever. So uh, yeah, hit that like button if you like this video. Let me know if you want to see more like this. Thanks for viewing. Happy filming, happy editing, and 